welcome back to Jeff Koinange live here at Citizen Television. A lot of people are complaining that I'm saying that Manu won't be around the next 10 years. My bad. I'm, I apologize. But here's the deal. Uh, recently, we interviewed Reginald Mengi, a good friend of yours in Tanzania. That's right. Amazing guy. Lovely. Absolute, wonderful absolute, man. Absolute, absolutely. And Manu, a couple of days ago, boom. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that you never know. Look, look at Eunice. Oh, Moringo. Moringo. Yesterday, day before yesterday. He's giving a speech yeah. at the Manu Chandaria uh, Ch School of Ch Chandaria Center for Performing Arts. Jesus. Beautiful theater. Yes. 500 yes. people. Yes. Sitting here. Very and good. The, before and, she knew. And she was just giving the speech. Boom. While this was going on, but she didn't know until, yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Okay, so uh, Fred Obach Machoka. You must know him. Radio legend over the years. Yeah. He says, Jeff Manu looks like he's 70 years old. Chances are the dude might still be fresh and around even after 20 years from now. <laughs> Good Lord. Tell him, nice, nice thought, <laughs> but be my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manu. Okay, real quick. The economy, or the economists predicted that Kenya was going to grow at 5.8% this year. I don't think we are there. Industry was going no. to grow at 7%. Manu, it, I don't it, think we're there. No, industry was supposed to. If we, go to, if we want to do that five pillars, four yes. pillars, yeah. then we should be growing at 15%. Double industry, digits. Industry, double digits. Yeah. Uh, and we're not. No. And, and, that's, and every time you, you miss out one year, uh, that how many more times that you could do? Because the time limit is there. So I think that we, we are missing out. And the missing out is this very simple is that to get an economy really moving, everybody should be a part of helping and pushing. You know the word harambe? Harambe? Yeah. By the way, which is an Indian word, by the way. Yes. It's an Indian word, yes, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes. People claim it's Swahili. Yeah, because, no, no, it's become har har mahadev. <laughs> no, no, go on. Harambe. <laughs> Har har ambe, har ambe, har har ambe. Which means what? Ambe is uh, one of the goddess. So har har ambe, when they want to push up, pull yes. anything. Har har ambe, har har ambe, har ambe. <laughs> <laughs> and we stole it and well, adapted it's okay. it. It's, it's okay. on our coat of arms. <laughs> that's okay, that's all right, that's fine. Yeah. Fine, you ne you're never born with anything. You invent everything that you go there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But can we grow? Can, can, can we turn this economy around, Manu? I yes, mean, yes, huh? it, yes. It, it, it is a possibility, but we need to find why we are not growing. Yeah. Number one, uh, today for exports in Africa, which we were really here, it's dropping very fast. Yes. Because we are 13% or 12% higher cost than any other else. Why? So, so what do we sh what should we be doing? The first thing we're asking the government, drop the 2% of IDF, drop 1.5% of railway levy, 3.5% that's the hanging fruit. Yeah. Out of 12%, 3.5% goes away, straight away. Then, then there are so many impediments that it's, it's unbelievable that how do we make it? Power. At State House, two years back, we agreed that it will be nine cents. And today? Sixteen. Oh. So the point is that you cannot, you cannot fight because there are other guys in the, in the, yeah. In the market. Yeah. yeah. Manu, um, are we borrowing too much from China? Well, we're, there's no question of borrowing. We've borrowed already so far. So there's no, once it has happened, the milk is spilled, that's it. Now you've got to find out how you're going to pay it. Yeah. How fast you're going to pay it. Yeah. And for that, it's not going to grow on the trees that no. you can shake them. No. Yeah, you've got to build the economy. And you can. But you're not answering my question. Have we borrowed too much? Have we depended too much on these people? Yes, well, but the point is that if you want to grow, you've got to hold hand of somebody who's going to really 
it's just a child look, it's not nobody else, but he's going to give you the money. Now, if you can use it well in time and make it work, the money and, and what is money? What is what is the borrowing? Borrowing is something which you put it in your operations and they should be operative. Yeah. The the port should be operative, yeah. the railway should be operative. And it starts paying for it. And nothing is done without an intention of earning and paying back. That's all the intention, always the intention. But if you don't do it in time, then it doesn't work. Or if you still have the money, Manu. I mean, look, SGR, fantastic idea. Cost a lot more than it should have. Right? Four yeah. billion dollars or whatever it was, 368 billion. Yeah. Phase one. Yeah. Phase two, just about the same. And that's a lot of money, Manu. I mean, the Ethiopian one costs half that. I know, I know. Now, listen, as I said, it's already on the floor. You, you don't think that you're just going to lick it and take it. No, it's not on now. Yeah. Now you've got to find out the smart ways yeah. of overcoming yeah. and using it harder, better, faster, so that nobody can argue about it. But if you're going to have, say, for example, all the cargo should be coming out by SGR. Yeah. Forget about the passengers apart. Yeah. But all the cargo should be getting out. But then to get all the cargo coming out, there should be outlet also as fast as it puts in. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. delays. No, no delay. No yeah. delay. You, you remember one time, about three years, four years back, the person says, I want the truck from Mombasa to reach Malaba in seven days' time. Yeah. And it happened. Yeah. Started happening. In, in 10 days, it started happening. Because everybody was stopping the trucks to get up. So I think it, it, it is a possibility. Yeah. When you crack the whip, yeah, yeah. or when you take your eye off the ball, Manu. Yeah, yeah. then you, you can't. You, you know can't. what I'm saying? The, the point is that everybody, that's the worrying part today. That why everybody is not on the boat. Yeah, or on the same page. Same page. Why is that, Manu? Why yeah. is that? But greed, but, is it greed? Yes, greed, greed, greed. Greed, what else? What else? Greed, ego, whatever it is. Yeah. Power, whatever you call. You, you must have one clear example. No one is going to stop. No one. What is going, is just going to go with a speed. Manu, yeah. you and your companies are in 16 African countries. And I just want to give just one tiny example, or a big example, Ethiopia. For more than a decade, Ethiopia's economy was growing at double digits. Yes, that's right. As the, as the population was growing. Yeah. Today they are at a hundred million, million people, people man. You know this. Yes, You're there. Absolutely. Absolutely. They made it work in, yeah. a, in Ethiopia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what, so what's the difference? Somebody made it work. What you said, the word, somebody made it work. That's it. it, it it's, it's, there's no magic. No. There's no magic of something that this will happen this no. way. No. It has to be the determination that push, and then what we call teamwork. When I say this has to happen, that means there are five ministries involved, 15 other departments involved, all fall in line. It, it can't be just one going this way, the other going that no. way. No, it's not possible. Okay, let me give you another example, Manu. And this is like the craziest, probably the craziest country in the world, or the world's largest democracy, India. 1.2 plus, maybe 1.3 million billion people, right? Yep. How many religions, how many sects, how many states, you know, all this stuff. But it works. It works. In all that madness. Yes. Man, what is our excuse? There's no excuse for us. The only point is that each individual must be a part of this game. Everyone. If by listening today, whoever is listening today, they decide that in their own way, are they really pushing this whole agenda? Or 
their impediments. They're putting the guys, stow it down, pushing it out, moving on different directions. If so, it's, it's not good for us. The point is that if it's good for me, that doesn't mean it's good for Kenya. Yeah. What's good for Kenya is what we have agreed that we should be doing, should be doing. And it can be done. As I'm saying, one and a half years have passed, maybe another six months will pass. But even after that, two years later than over date, we still be there. Yeah. If we make up our mind now. And making up our mind means there's no, that means everybody should feel I am a part of that orchestra. I am a part of the growth. Yeah. I'm not a part of the structure. Manu, do you think we, and when I say we, the media, do we have to take some of this blame in this? Because, yeah. you know, these headlines every single day, this person, oh, he's running for president. Oh, this one doesn't deserve. Oh, this. Oh. Do, 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 no, are we I, 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 think, I think that to me, uh, there's, a, there's an idea, and maybe it's the wrong idea total, that, you know, unless media produces something which is daring, doesn't sell, it'll continue with selling. It's, it'll not stop. The day when it stops, it'll stop just like any other bigger countries, like in America, you know, papers are yeah. just becoming yeah. less and less. Yeah. So, I do not think, the point is that, do we have, are we doing what we should be doing? And that is supporting, pushing, asking ourselves why we are not doing. Today, you, you, how many of the, how many, how many news are there of real asking us yeah. and telling us, hey, you're not doing it. Yeah. If, if, say I'm an association of Kenya manufacturers, yes. they'll say you're not doing it. So when they ask me, I'll give 100 answers. No, you know it, that you want to get it done. I know it, I want to get it done. So if there is an issue between us, the five, six people, seven people around us must fall in line. The question is that we must have commitment Towards the coast. Okay, before we go to tweets, Manu, yeah. uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm asking you this very honestly. Yeah. Any regrets about investing in this crazy place called Kenya? Any regrets? No, Kenya was. Uh, we started with nothing here. We built our uh, ourselves over here, uh, and, and the point is that we got to off and on. We keep on asking ourselves, why China grew that way? Yeah. Why? Yeah, Why? China. Tell me, yeah. China. Communist China. Look at it today. We decided to go to China. Our Singapore office decided to go to China. In 10 years, they employed 10,000 10, people. Good Lord. And here we are 56, 50, 60 years now in Africa. 18,000 people. Why? Because every government has his own way of getting it slow, slower, slower, slower. No, how, how, just, you don't win a way. You don't, you don't win a race. No. Yeah. So we need, we need to really ask ourselves, who is at fault? Am I at fault? Mm. Who can ask me I'm at fault? You can ask me with all the commissions. Yeah. I can ask myself. When I go to sleep, I ask myself, yeah. hey, hey, have I done enough? If I say I've not done enough, no, that's not all. But, but, but you, as, as an entrepreneur, as an industrialist, you must get frustrated a lot of the times. Well, the point is that you, you get frustrated here, and that's why the, the eggs are spread all over the place. If I get frustrated here, then somewhere else is good. The point is that do I have the loyalty, mm. being a Kenyan? Yeah. If I have that loyalty, why not here? You know, that says a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah. That says a lot. You could have lived anywhere, you know that? Yeah, 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 absolutely. You absolutely. could have lived anywhere, Manu. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Let's take, let's take a look at some tweets. Monica, yeah, is yeah, that okay? Yeah. 
took a look at some tweets because Manu is almost making me cry here. So uh, Isaiah Langat says, Manu Chandara is one man who leaders and youth of goodwill should sit down and listen to. He has a lot to offer. Hongera. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Isaiah. <laughs> Isaac says, this intelligent man is an example of a product of focus, dedication, and discipline that results into a true wealth. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Kevin Mayaka says, ask Manu whether he knows the late Tanzanian billionaire Reginald Mengi and what is it that one characteristic they had in common? I asked you earlier. Of course, well, you knew him. He was, he was a good East African. Yeah. I had, the, I had the responsibility of creating East African Business Council and I found him to be one of my uh, supporters from Tanzania, yeah. similarly in Uganda, right. similarly in Kenya. And I thought that he, he believed in Tanzania, but when it came down to East Africa, I said, hey, come on, take off your glasses of only seeing Tanzania. Put your glasses as East Africa. And he was a good stuff. By the way, he wrote a book before he died. It was called, I Can, I Must, I Will. Absolutely. Amazing book. Absolutely. But at the same time, you two were big competition, weren't you? I mean, you, you were yeah, competitors. Yeah, very, very, very big competition. You know, when we started with this nation and Pricewaterhouse Coopers, uh, the most respected CEO of East Africa. So the first year, I saw him beautiful in a black tie. <laughs> and wonderful bow tie and yeah. what not. Yeah. And, and I thought that he's the guy probably. Yeah. And came the name Manu Chandari. <laughs> <laughs> the second year, right. again, same thing happened. Came the name Manu Chandari. Oh my. So I think that the third year they said, hey, hey, is this a clique or what? <laughs> so I told them myself, listen, please, now no more to me, number one. Number two is that why don't you just get it repeated again? So they got it repeated again. And still was number one. So Manu Jandaria. The point, the point is that competition is healthy. But the question is that you got to put up. I would say I was best East African because people believed that I was in East Africa. Yeah. I was in Kenya, I was in Uganda, I was in Tanzania. Bengi was still only in Tanzania. Right. Yeah. He has to be in Kenya. He has to be in Uganda yeah, yeah. to see and be and feel like an East African. Yeah. You were playing in the big leagues there, Manu. <laughs> well done. Jocelyn Madoni says, I think Manu Chandari is a living dream of how successful we Kenyans will be if only we put everything aside. Politics, corruption, scandals and the many vices in our midst and focus on making Kenya a better place. Nothing is out of grasp. We just have to reach out. There's no way besides you putting yourself in the center and every person has got a contribution yeah. to make. You know, I always keep saying the, the, the phrase, all hands on deck. Absolutely, absolutely. Otherwise, boat will not go through. Correct. But, yeah. but people don't get it. No. no. They, they get it, they don't want to admit it. They get it, but they feel, oh, it's not necessary. Manu, there's a lot of corruption in India, around the world, of course. India, there's a lot of corruption, right? But it still works, it still works. Look, the point is that when I was a student in India, that's when I did my first degree, we used to import food. Today, India exports food after 1.2 billion people exports food. Here we are sitting on 50 million people. 50. We can't meet our commitment. Can you imagine? Yeah. Look at that. People are starving in Baringo Absol or absolutely, in Turkana. Absol absolutely. Come on, absolutely. man. Absolutely. Give me a break. Yeah. No, the, the point is, who, who, who's to be blamed? I call myself, I'm the first to be blamed. Because if I've not been able to do it, change the attitudes of people, push, I've done lots of things, but yet I've not been able to convince that to get every Kenyan to say, I am Kenyan first. So have you failed then? Have you failed? Huh? Have you yes, failed? I've, I've failed? I've failed. I've failed because the point is that when you say, how, 
many a times I say, how many, how many of you are Kenyans? People look at one or two, just they look at each yeah. other. Yeah. How can you do that? Your whole, the whole people were sitting over there, the whole fool. Yeah. Kenya, when they say, how many of Kenyans? Every, the hands will go up. The point is that we need to make sure that we are Kenyan first, yeah. Kenyan second, yeah. Kenyan third, then we can call, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. Yeah. Well done. Last tweet here, Le Christophe says, corruption is the reason why this country has lost its equilibrium and Manu will agree that the load we are going to put to bring equilibrium back is not easy. It requires much energy to kill Mr. Corruption because he is all over the place. The, the point is that let's, let's not look at the ill things that we have got. Let's look at one thing. Are we prepared to do it? Mm. Are we prepared to do it? Do we have the will? Do we have the will? Uh. You might have the will. Are you going to put your will into practice? Then you can find a solution. Yeah. Uh, this, whatever we are seeing, with this 50 million people, this might be looking big. But then when there are half a billion people, uh, there, there are uh, uh, half a billion people population, this is nothing, this is a drop in no notion. But are we prepared to do it? Have we recognized this is not right? Yeah. yeah that's it. Couple of tweets over here, Manu, before we uh, let you go. Yeah. Because you need to wake up at 5.30. <laughs> Dr. Oliver K. Kirui says, Manu Chandaria is humility personified. I look up to him. And then Frank Mwangi says, please ask Manu what he would tell a 25-year-old today. I'll tell a 25-year-old today. I said, listen, you don't expect the government to do for you anything. Don't ask your parents to do anything for you because they've done already for you what you are today. Get up. Do something. Now I'll ask him, well, what can I do? Go and plant a tree. Go to the school and say, hey, is there some teacher absent? I'd like to fit in. There are so many things that one can do if you want, want to. But, oh, I should be invited. Mm. Oh, I should be paid for it. Nobody's going to pay for it. You're sitting at home anyway. You're eating the food of your parents. So wh why not? That whole attitude is somebody's going to do it for me. No, nobody's going to do it for you. You've got to, you got to take the step. If you want to walk, you take the step. And I can't say, okay, my secretary, you walk and I'm sitting over here. doesn't work. So a 25-year-old 25 year man in this country, I would say young man in this country, that guy has a responsibility to lift this country. The other day I was invited by um, CS Matiangi and CS uh, um, um, Environment. Yeah, uh, uh, Tiriko, Tiriko. Uh, yeah, Tobacco. Yeah. And they said that 7% cover, we want to make sure. Yes. We want to go 10%. Yeah, forest cover. Forest cover. Yeah. Now, we were 11% when we started. Correct. When the population was only 8 million. Mm. Now we are we went to one and a half percent now built it to seven now why can't it be more than that everybody must think that i have a responsibility as a family i must plant a tree full throw we can do it yeah yeah dennis n njawasi says there's too much wisdom humility discipline gratitude family industrious Manu Chandaria, very insightful. Look, let's, let's not talk about me who I am. What do you think from tomorrow morning you're going to do? Are you going to be humble? Are you going to be simple? You, 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 you build yourself. Yeah. I'm what I am because I joined the university when Mahatma Gandhi was doing the Quit India movement. And the first thing we were just dazzled by his personality. The man 
taking the British Empire on one side and saying, no, no, please go. Yeah. We don't want to discuss anything. Quit India. We'll stop. And the conditions were very hard. Yes. One, don't buy anything important. Two, don't buy anything which is produced from an important equipment, machinery, whatever it is. All these were out. Every day to spin one hour, every day. You don't spin one day, on third day there'll be a patch on your shirt. And, wh and what was the wardrobe? Three shirts, two pair of pants, three shirts, two pair of pants, and three underwears. That's it. That's it. Four years. Why? Because I felt that I was an Indian. I wanted Gandhi to win so that it can become independent. Did you ever meet him? Yeah, I met him, yeah. yeah. Mahatma Gandhi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You met him? Yeah, yeah. But met him, it's been, you can't just have a conversation at that yeah, time. Yeah, but you know, he was yeah, in the yeah, room. Yeah, you yeah, in the yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he comes, he, he was attending so many functions. Yeah, and his functions were always open. Hmm. Yeah. You know, it says a lot about you. Uh, that's why you live such a simple life, man. Well, you know, that's and, why. And the, the, the point, the, the question is that, when do you start? No. Yeah. How many when, helicopters when are does, enough? When does the Kenyan start saying that this is my country? Yeah. It's my responsibility, not yeah. only the president, yeah. not the cabinet, yeah. not the Gasad Kali, not Manu Chandaria. It's our responsibility. The minute we put our responsibility, we can That's solve the it. minute this yeah. country turns around. Yeah, you can, yeah. you remind me a lot of the words of John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you can absolutely. do for your country. Absolutely, absolutely. Manu Chindaria, as always, such a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time. Huh? And Thank it's you. way past your bedtime. No, 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 not bedtime. I see your program every time. Oh, you do? <laughs> why, and why you message because, me yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, all the best. Love to Aruna. Thank you. And um, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Manu Chandaria, folks, what more can be said that hasn't been said? This man, nine decades later, the advice he offers is so simple. It's not rocket science. And yet, we still don't get it. It's up to you. You decide. It's up to us. Right? Everyone. The 25-year-old chap wouldn't be asking me the question tomorrow. What I should be doing? I told you, go and get done. Think, get Anything that you can do. Yeah. Clean the streets. I've cleaned the streets, so why can't he do that? What's the problem? Yeah, thanks, Manu. Jeff Kinegula, powered by Standard Chartered. Standard Chartered, your world is better with Priority Banking. Thanks so much for being a part of the show. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. with Professor Hamo on the hottest breakfast show in all of Africa. We call it Jeff and Hamo on Heart, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Heart 96. And we'll see you back here next Wednesday on the only show where the three letters on the keyboard follow each other, J-K-L. Did you know that, Manu? Did you know that on the keyboard? Do you know that? J-K-L? It follows each other. Oh, he's drinking his coffee. He's not paying attention. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so yeah, much. The for coffee has to come out. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> All right, folks. Have a great yeah. week. Thanks so much. Good okay. night. God bless. Manu. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you so much.